So let's consider what happens from the content delivery network's perspective. So I'm going to go back up to this logical diagram here. We've got our main server here, and we've got all these servers that are distributed along the periphery of the Internet. One of the things that we could do, let's uh, consider uh, main user of content delivery networks like Netflix. One of the things that they may do is that at this main server they may anticipate high usage of a video. So let's say a brand new video comes out on your network and you know that people are going to use that request that network. What you can do is you can anticipate this and ahead of time you can copy that file that movie to all of these different locations uh, so that when the requests come in we, we send all these out here to these different servers here and when the, re the requests come in we already have them available at this location because we know we're going to get those requests and that will work great for anticipated traffic. The same would be true of the Olympics. You know that people are going to look for results for the Olympics, but you might do something a little bit differently. For the Olympics, what you might do, uh, let's pick some, a different color here. Um, that, uh, let's say this is in the USA. So you might copy here a subset of results for the USA teams. But let's say over here you're in China. It doesn't make sense for the most part to copy the results from the USA teams to, to that server. You're going to copy a subset of those results, the, the Chinese results, because that's what most of your users are going to do. So you can distribute your load and your content among the expected viewers. So the Americans see their content, the Chinese see their content, uh, you, your Germans can see their content and all of that is, is going to work and, and you distribute your load because you've got these in, in different locations. It's different from the movie where at each of these sites people are going to be requesting that popular movies are, are going to be the same. And you, you might have some less popular movies that are, are different. But your content delivery mechanism is going to have to know what its material is. It can't just be a, a straight up replica of this. The same way Netflix isn't going to copy all of its movies to each of these locations. It's going to copy the popular ones and the infrequently used ones are going to either be stored here and then when someone requests them at this location we copy that at request time and uh, that may seem weird. Why would we copy it here? Why wouldn't we just send it to the person's computer? And the answer is because all these machines here on the outside are connected by incredibly high speed network connections and so we can get the whole movie from here to any of these nodes very quickly, much quicker than viewing speeds and then we still have the advantages of connecting to a local machine rather than this far distant machine over here. So we'll, we'll still want to do that copy from this main server to the, to the local server and satisfy the request from the local server to, to the web browser. The same would be true for sites that you can't anticipate their usage. You don't know. It's not like Netflix where you know what the popular movie is. It's not like the Olympics where you know what results that particular group of regional people are, are going to be interested in. It's completely unpredictable. It could be um, in, ahead of time unpredictable. It could be a site like CNN where it's news. It's predictable that all the stuff you put up there, if it's headline news, is going to be used, but you can't produce the headline news before the event occurs. And so as soon as you produce this, there's going to be requests for it from all these different locations across the world, and you're going to want to get them to these different nodes as quickly as possible so that you can serve it. 
to those uh, people. So there are a lot of different ways that a content delivery network is, is going to operate. But the key is that you get it off your main server and onto these local servers as quickly as possible.